Patchy, these first two stages of the Tour de France in 2023, man, I think Taddei's gotta be rubbing his hands together and saying, I'm gonna make my mark early on because last year was like stage six before he won a stage and had the yellow jersey. Well, probably this year he will find the, the, the perfect uh, scenario to make his magic happen. Um, yeah, it's uh, basically the best country is what suits him better, you know, Not, kind of uh, twisty roads, uh, short climbs, uh, where, you know, jet lag can, ha can happen everywhere. So this first, especially two stages, they suit him really well, especially the first one. If you win, you have the double prize with the, with the yellow jersey. So probably we'll see a, a very offensive today going for the win for the start. How does your team Movistar, you, you have Enrique Moss, you got Matteo Jorgensen. How does Movistar even try to manage, if possible, a rider like Pogacar? We know that for the moment, him and, and, and Jonas are step above uh, Enrique, but we are working just to get closer and closer. You know, we have the reference, which is uh, if I to get closer. We see them racing, we analyze, we kind of try to find some, some spot where we can say, okay, here we can go and we can try something. But it's just uh, keep working on your things, keep working, getting better yourself, and then just be attentive. We also have, in this case, uh, the advantage that we race home, yep. which is home for us, so we know exactly uh, the roads we have been racing there, ourselves, myself, Cente, uh, Enrique himself, uh, we have been racing here always, so we really know where things happen. Yeah, and the Basque are passionate about cycling, and they not only love their home riders like your Landas or Bilbao, but also superstars like Pogacar. And it must be his charm, I don't know, that piece of hair that comes out of his helmet. Uh, he can do it all in week-long, three-week stage races one day races, yeah. how mad and mental would it be? I mean, they're gonna be out there screaming and support, supporting yeah. even a Pogacar if he wins in Bilbao. Absolutely, I mean, I think that one of the things that really uh, differences Basque crowds versus others is that we cheer for everyone. Uh, we like cycling, we love big riders, and no matter where they're coming from. Of course, if there's a Basque, we always have some, some extra motivation and then we are a little bit happy, but uh, yeah, we appreciate that uh, that big, big uh, talent is today uh, that will be in our roads, that we will enjoy him and, and see what, what he does, because I'm sure he will he will just uh, oh. play betting all in and, and try to win, yeah, probably both stages. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for the show that we're gonna have July 1 at the Tour de France in Bilbao.